deal with it for the rest of my life. And the only way that I can protect the people around me is by internalizing these explosions, these moments of chaos. And to do this, I need... I need something strong enough to withstand the magic. So that brings us to why they were all clawing at me to try and get them star metal, you see. No one's clawing at anything. <sighs> we just want answers. I need to know if it's even possible for me to get my hands on star metal. When you were not at the Apothecary when I was brought in, they were requesting that I bring them the star metal so that they can help you, but they never told me why, but also to fix time. Speaking as if such a thing was normal, I don't think they quite realize just what they are asking. <sighs> well, let's start at the beginning. Do you know what star metal is? It's metal from the sky. That's all I know. Back... Keons back. Before there were mountains there. Before the mountains ever unfolded themselves were there. A star impacted and was buried beneath the stone. The mountains have since formed around it. And the star metal is found very rarely at the heart of the mountains. It is a very precious and very difficult uh, material. Even if I were to get some of the raw ore, there'd be nothing you could do with it here. We don't have anywhere near the... Uh, <coughs> we don't have the forge, for one. The metal itself is incredibly difficult to smelt. You would need a proper dwarven forge supplied with the proper materials to even get the thing to melt. That's how hard this is. And you've seen Tang. Tang is a perfect example from what I've heard. He's apparently made of the same damn stuff. So if I were to put it into more general terms. Tang is currently walking around probably as the most expensive miner that I have ever seen in my life. He is a fingertip person. Can practically buy a nation back home. The star metal that we have at the holds is not something I'd expected anyone else to know of outside of Dwarven Hall, simply because it's not something that's broadcast. It's a very unique, precious, and incredibly difficult item to come by. The High King currently is the only one that can allow for such a thing to be used. And even then, it's only to some of the master smiths within the holds of the Dali the <coughs> People that can actually mould it, shape it. It's not that it, it's an impossible ask. But there are circumstances that you're not going to like if I were to ask. I've covered this with you, but I didn't cover the full extent, so allow me to put it a different way. If I were to ask this of my king and get this material, the price is something you would not be able to pay. And I'll explain why. You would no longer be Serebeth. You would belong to the Dawi. You would be a tool. I'm trying to be as candid as I can. The situation back home is very, very precarious. And if I were to get you this, the 
price would be that you would become part of Vern Folders. I guess reliquaries is what you could call them. A tool. Something that the Dwarven King would put to use. And that's me simply being simple. I don't want that because I do not agree with such a thing. The item in Carano that you saw. The orders I have from my High King were to send it back. I refused. It's too dangerous, that thing. If anything, we are not equipped to seal something like that. Especially when I saw it up in person. What it was doing to anyone that went near it, I couldn't afford for that to get sent back to my hold. Because if I did, I would turn everyone in the hold into those things. I am currently in a very precarious position, Lass. If I request this of the High King, it means that I must acknowledge an order that I otherwise do not wish to acknowledge. Because if I do... It's no longer simply my fate at this point. If I do as you ask, if I get this material for you and get it made into whatever it is you want, I would need to take you with me. I'll try and explain it a bit more detail for you because this is something concerning in your future. And that's only if we procure it from my king. I did not say that we can't procure it from other sources. If we got it from somewhere else, we'd still need the smiths with that. The smiths I can probably wrangle. If I were to come into possession of star metal, I made it clear that I required it to be worked in such a way that it could be used to, say, make a container, for example. For those things we found. I could also have it shaped into other items at the same time, if we came into enough of it. It would be something that I could wrangle for the sake of my three other missions. Because it wouldn't be coming from the Dwarven vaults. It wouldn't be something my king himself had procured. It'd be something we had procured. On that end, I could wrangle it. But if you're asking me to source it, that's the problem. Because it means I have to acknowledge the fourth thing that I told you about. Mm -hmm. Which we don't want. You know why. So, in asking the king is pretty much a no. Some of the... Unless you want to lose your freedom, lass, asking the king is not something I can do. Because it would oh, all but... Mm... Ever again. Now you understand why I was a bit standoffish with the way they were asking me, as if it was normal. Hmm. Asking me to procure them star metal, like it was something I could pick up off of a shelf. Not only that, with Strider being about, they want to kill him to procure this metal. Strider's building As something if it's different. So simple. Though, according to Tang. <sighs> Oh, 
Hello, not the normal visit that you sometimes expect. This hobbit is looking for Morden, and I know he usually works here. You're talking about the message? Yes. Mm, I asked him. He seemed a little I have confused. The invitation letter. Ah, come on in and hand it to him then. Okay. I'm so sorry for the broken arms I may have caused. Not myself, but. Barbarian's area, as well as the. Morden, just before we. Morden? I'd be happy to explain it more. But, uh, hi, how can I help you? Are you getting an invitation from the, uh, Vineyard. I see. Is this something I must attend to now? Not now, but soon. I see. If you'll allow me, I still have business here that I'm attending to, but I have now received this message. Thank you. And for your trouble. You're welcome. 25 copper. Here you are. Please, when you make your way back, let them know that I've received it and that I will be in attendance. Okay. And keep that to yourself. Even if they've paid you, keep that for yourself. And then, if I may. I'll, I'll keep away from your privacy for now. Then. I've been looking into that name, and I've even requested information from the Dwarven Halls of Records from my king. I'm still waiting for correspondence in regards to it, but I've learned that this Nith Mamalorian, this place, is definitely under our feet. It ranges from the keep to the north, all the way past the Badlands to the south. And from my understanding, it's the reason why the mines are facing the opposite way from the mountains towards the coast. Whoever was mining deliberately mined away from it. Hmm. It's something I've been noting with the records here, but there's a lot seemingly either missing or otherwise unrecorded. However, I have encountered one source that appears to know more about it than even I thought. You're aware of Markle, yes? Unfortunately. <laughs> he was the one that gave me information that told me why it's buried. Apparently there was some sort of calamity that caused it. It was buried after a calamity of sorts. He confirmed that it is here. He has some very strange circumstances about him, lad. Something I can't really explain, but... With everything going on, all of these strange circumstances seem to be lining up for some strange reason. And I've also heard that North west towards the Ishmithalas border is something that that potion seller of yours was very interested in. I don't know for certain I was going to ask someone to have a look, but there is something in the region to the north towards the Von Falden Mountains in the forest. Something that that potion seller was apparently at, according to Faye. Something to look into in the future, probably, but... It coincides with the other two entrances that we're aware of. The one that's in the Badlands and the one up to the north. How do we even know this metal's in Nith Mimalorian? We don't, but it's 
more possible than most other things. Mainly because the metal itself. We are not the only ones that used it. But now we are not the only ones that used this metal. There were those that were able to use it amongst the elves of the east, along the Dowie of the east. The metal is not unfamiliar to the elves. However, I believe that your people lie even deeper than they. And if your people have not found it, it means that, well, they found it from other sources. There may be something in this city, because I do believe a Snith Mamalorian sounds elvish. More than likely an elven city. If there is something down there, it may be. There's no guarantee. But I'm warning you that this ruin is extensive. It could take days, weeks of expeditions to find it. I even noted a discrepancy when I was out and about. The plates shifted, which coincides with this calamity that was caused. Whatever tunnels that used to be there were removed in lieu of something else. It's possible that there is something down there, and if not, as a last-ditch effort, I could try and deal with the king and do my best to well, keep your freedom by not specifically mentioning you. But you have to understand that that is the worst possible case that I can give you. If I get no, the high king involved with this. That's why I was reluctant, especially in front of all those people when they were asking me to w make it appear out of thin air. Enough to fix Tang and clad you in something. I don't know exactly what they were asking me to make you, but Bracelets. if we can find it, it can be smelted. If we can smelt it, it can be moulded. from my understanding this potion cellar is apparently connected to the institute so there may be recourse there that can be used only chance. I apologise I don't have better news for you lass I think you can understand what I why I'm reluctant. It's alright, I keep getting the answers I want. Doesn't mean I like them. You've been nothing but helpful to us, Lass, and I do not want to shackle you to the whims of my king. But I'll make you aware of the reason why. The war in Von Folder is a losing one. And I think you might know why. We face the Uruks on the surface, the rats beneath, and something else. Several of our holds have gone dark. My own hold suffered from something that tunneled beneath. They were too swift to be seen, and my cousin sacrificed his life in order to save those he could by rallying the creatures into one of the hold's main buildings and collapsing it upon them. But from what I'm told, the entirety of the central part of my hold was sunk into a black abyss. Whatever killed my people and took my hold left no bodies to be found. The only bodies we found were that of my dead. Uh, 
I should make you aware of why the High King would be so readily available of trying to take you under his wing, so to speak. It's no longer a sake of just me. It's my people. I have to think about what is best to try and save my people. Currently, I have three objectives, so I'll make them aware to you. I need to find out why the elves decided to move to a contingents full of people into Araland. I have to secure a connection to the king in the wood. And I have to find out why the elves are here, and I think I've found out two of these answers so far. The only one I'm missing is why the elves are in Ireland, although I believe it may have something to do with the recently crowned King Godfrey. Very interesting turn of events. Mm. Apparently the Lord Advisor and the previous King Gavis are nowhere to be found. Something for you to think on, lass. I've given you all the information that I can. Thanks, Morton. If you have no other recourse, or, if you have no other recourse or option, I will do my best to secure you the material if we cannot find it through other means. It just means that I will have to do something I'd rather not. I think I need a drink. If you need anything stronger, you tell me, and we'll be happy to supply you. Poor girl. Do, do you see what I mean now, lad? I understand. Why I couldn't so readily... I'm not one for slavery, lad. However, my king has made it clear. No matter the sacrifice, no matter the cost, if I acknowledge that order in attempts to try and get this material, I'm essentially going to war with everyone here. I'm also damning myself to a fate similar to that of the Duragar. Are you aware that that is the reason why the Duragar were first exiled from my people? I wasn't. It's one of the greatest shames of our people was the actions of the Duragar. Some say it was madness, others say it was nonsense, but their actions have long since been mostly lost to time because most don't speak of it in the halls, but we reckoners are aware of what they did. It's one of the greatest grudges we have. What is our are... actual chance of finding star metal in Nithna Malorian? It's better than nothing. I'll tell you that much. It's better than the alternative. Without going to the halls of the east, without going to the halls of the east or to the woods of the east, where the elves of old were, they had materials similar. The elves here, at least from what I understand of this elvish city, were the closest thing to the North Badlands, the far north, where this Elysium supposedly rests. If there were to be any city that had such supply, it would be this city that's beneath our feet. I was able to do some reading when I was in the Grove, but... 
got myself fairly caught up in all these things that I don't quite understand, but had to read it regardless. From my understanding, it's about the same probability we would have had of finding an archway beneath every keep in Ireland. Surprisingly, a high number from what I've been told. Mm. Seems the MG were determined to build on top of these sites. It seems they had a reason. Much like Gradia currently, the province of Notus is sitting atop a city that extends almost entirely the entire province. If Markle is also to be believed, which is I'm actually starting to think he might be because of some oddities he has shown me. There's a bit of a discrepancy with memory, but before I had spoken to him about this cavern in the Orkish Badlands, he had pointed to a map that apparently marked it for some reason. And he showed me some strange paintings. Very strange paintings. It's as if his memories are on canvas. One of which depicted a dark tunnel. I don't know what his connection is. I don't know what he knows, but if we want to go delving into this place, which from my belief several of us now do, he might be someone to bring aboard because he seems to have more information on the place than almost any other record I've been able to find. This uh, potential expedition. Would you think me a coward for not going? No. In fact, I'd call you the smartest man. Allow me to... Remind you of all of the dark beasts we saw on our way here. You don't need to remind me. To expect any less is foolish. Every single one of these places we have seen, every single one of these places we have delved into, has had a variety of these beasts. I almost guarantee that there will be something down there. You intend on going? It's not an intention of what I want, lad. Or what my people need. Ah. That's the conflict, isn't it? Even if it may cost me... Even if it must, even if it must cost me my life, any chance I can get for my people, it's no longer just my kingdom, lad. It's my people. If we lose from Falder... We lose all of our holds or history. The only ones left would be those that are either enslaved in Gradia or have managed to somehow survive in the lands above. But they'd have no recollection of us that way, or heritage. And unfortunately, from the way it was worded, for them to be seeking outside help at all should tell you more. It does. On that, I have some slight good news. And my Mirandol was able to deliver his letter. Mm. The letter I gave him. And apparently it was more well received than he thought. We might hear about some sort of result from that soon. But... <sighs> Am I dead? No? Hello? Oh no. Am I dead? I'm fucking dead, aren't I? Yeah.
God, I'm tired. Oh, hello. Uh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm invis. He oh, was like right are. inside of me. I was like, whoa, there's a high loop. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know exactly what you caught, but... Uh... Basically, maybe hearing but word back from that soon. And that'll be almost every one of my issues from the one regarding Ireland. I'm still not quite sure what they're doing over there. But, um. It's the reason I'm very loath to admitting to this fourth commandment. Because if I do, all of that work is gone. One step at a time, I suppose. It also means... It also means that I'm going to have to be very careful, because if I... let slip that I know of this fourth commandment, either I am being treasonous, or I am going to have to... Do what I must to get what I must from the way the king has decreed, even at the cost of my own life. <clears throat> what commandment? Exactly. That's one of the reasons why I've been very tight-lipped about it. The only people that know about it are yourself, are recently Faye, because I had to tell her about the book and the reason why I needed to read it. Uh, be careful with Faye. She needed to be aware of... I well... The reason I had to let her know was quite simply because if anyone talks about it, yeah. it's not me that will kill them. <sighs> well... It sounds like you have a party to attend to or something. Apparently so. Good luck. I'll see you around. <laughs> okay. Well, it's so fashionably late. Hey, your friend is sulking. Sarah? Is the price of ore still extremely high? See, I don't even need to tell you the name. You already know. Yeah, she got some rough news. I don't blame her. Oh, she wouldn't tell me what it was. So it's not for me to hear. Yep. Have you any idea? <clears throat> when your father intends to send you and me out there. No idea, but... <sighs> we'll be stocking up the next couple of days at least. Hmm. Order them. I just need a reason to wet my blade. It's becoming a little stagnant, you see. Hopefully we won't have to when we go there. Aunt told me that you have uh, things well, I that you absolutely need to... will. Yeah, handle. Um, I won't ask if you don't want me to know, but if I can help you in any way, if you want me to put you somewhere, position you, oh. strike people, just let me know, okay? I had to find the arenas, so I'm afraid it won't be in your position to help me. Fair enough. 
Honey kind of raw food. It will simply be the wolf seeking prey out in the other cities. That's all. Very well. So I can get ten. But yeah, stock up on anything you might need. But for the next few days. Well, believe it or not, I see it. I usually carry everything I need with me anyway. Where's my order at? Which one? Grappling hook. Should be done last Thursday, but you were busy. What's this? I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Check on the table. <laughs> oh. um, that shit's gone. Oh, he's... oh yeah, he's a little bit more salt. A silver, a silver Tyler, perception a check. A ten food. Oh, silver 20? You can get it then? Yeah. Yeah. With a four, you don't see anything out of place, physically. But with a 13, as you go to leave the forage area, something just strikes you as odd. Almost as if you saw something out of place, but didn't register it. I currently have four salt. Okay, um... I'm gonna go ahead and... Let me see how much that will add me up to in this. Can I go ahead and order the... Buy the full thing? Dude, dude, go ahead. Yeah, that'll be two... That's fine. For all the salt? Yeah, the four. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Looking around, you just don't see whatever it was. <sighs> Getting tired. You can't get any fiber, so I haven't caught that. Fiber? <laughs> um. I can, it'll be for 10, two silver 40. Damn, that's expensive, isn't it? You paid me right, Faye. Yes, you've already been paid for that. Fantastic. And you used my metal for it. <laughs> Maybe there's an outside You'll see on her table, he just sat there grabbing that kind of woven into it. Somehow, we'll figure it out. How much do you pay this for that? Yeah, kind of like, a, like a side room and stuff like that. Like kind of oh, a detached I think you need room. Mr. Uh, no, he, I know where the pick I can't up. see. Oh. I couldn't tell if it was him in the office. Hold on. Oh. I think he just lives permanently in that hood now. It's bright. The sun hurts. That's, and that's that makes sense. I think that's just what they do at this point. That's fine. Ooh, yeah, well, they gotta learn that that is okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're the best one to teach them that lesson. Hello. Hello. How are you two? Doing good. Doing uh, good. Have you seen Basil? Not today, actually. Hmm. I saw her a little earlier, and I was told that uh, she wants to talk. So, hmm. yeah. I heard you fucked up an ogre this morning. It was sick. Yeah, the axe does really well <laughs> against ogres, it seems. Sorry, I missed it. Oh, and the grappling hook came in handy. Oh, you used it? Nice. Yeah. Just, it was so I sick. I the ogre. Did the, wah, <laughs> and then it went around the leg, and then it went, what? It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't... I even jumped on its back at one point. Didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Mm. But hey. Yeah, you kind of got bashed around. <laughs> <laughs> got it far enough away from my weapon that I could grab it safely. Oh, um, yeah, that's fair. 
was good. I, I, there's was been it? a couple of times, like, I've when you this. blinded it, it almost, like, grabbed me. That was scary. <laughs> uh, I realized I had to get her away from the stands, but you see him holding an ogre's mm -hmm. tooth. Oh. Got this from the bastard. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, I've got a collection of trophies. Probably just keep it on me as proof in case anyone ever calls me out on my stories. I would, at one point, would have made them into like a necklace or something, but Raylan's gone and she was the only one who could make that. Yeah. Shame. I'm still trying to find someone who can make me a new ring. Have you checked in with, uh... It's just like there's no one... Mm. ring. The hunters, the... Mm. The Northmen who came with... Or Sif, all oh. of the... Or people, it's just like, there's no one who can craft... With, like, bones or whatever. I'll catch up with you guys later. Yeah. Sure, I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you, Grappin. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's for me? Of course, let's follow us. Yeah, I'm going to I told to you I was going to get this and put it in your shop. Yeah. I'm going to get this. Oh, well, well, I, I don't need, need for the shop. Yeah. I need it for me. This evening. Bro. Oh, okay. Well, well, I thought we were going to take all this stuff together. Yeah. 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 I hope I'm not interrupting. Not really. Just sulking. Yeah, Aegon said. Sorry, it's not simpler. And I can't seem to catch a fucking break with my headaches. Ah. Saw your father ride by. Yeah, I went to go... <laughs> he rode past me. I went to go talk to him. And then he looped around and rode past me again. <laughs> so. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's whatever. I don't think he saw me. Hi, Dad. He's just getting milk. He'll be right back. Mm. I'm sure. Nearly tripped over. Don't do that. <clears throat> if there is anything I can do to help. Shit out some aquarium. If only. <laughs> I'm about to just say fuck it. Take Figure it out. out myself. No Eclarium. No Eclarium. Well, there was that thing that Tang said, but that seemed very temporary. And expensive. Less expensive Too than expensive for one time. 
in Cooley Room. Morden seems somewhat convinced that there'll be some down there. But you heard what he said, it'll take weeks. I don't have that time. I need this before my next fight, before my next mercenaries trip, before my next job, before the next time I climb a flight of stairs. I don't... Maybe we keep you out of the action for a while then. Not an option. Yeah. I could just deal with it. I've done it my whole life. Maybe I'll just stay away from everyone. That's kind of sad. Boo fucking who? Been alone my whole fucking life. Maybe there was a reason. Every time I get close to people, it goes wrong. Yeah, I feel Last that. time I got co too close to you. <sighs> you set my bones on fire. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, that was pretty painful. But I'm here. I'm never going to change. It's never going to go away. I have kids, it could affect them. What if they come out? <laughs> Spouting fire and ice. I don't know. If I can even have children. What if... What if whatever has caused this has ruined my body? Venora says it might have been something taken from me. So even from birth, I've had the illusion of choice. I've never been free. Maybe I'm supposed to be in shackles. It's not a life for anyone, least of all you. And yet I was safest, shackled and under the thumb of a man, without any clue of what was to happen to me next. He should have told you. He should have. But what was I to do with information like that? Would you have done the same thing? If I knew the pain it would have caused me, no. I would still be with him. But he didn't fucking tell you. His intentions couldn't have been that pure if he didn't fucking tell you that. Surely. I'm sure he would Yet have used he was protecting to. me. He could have. But so will the dwarves. And the elves. And the drow. And the institute. Find any of them around Nardis, but they're all going to use me. Uh, we're all alive and living. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> what are you implying? That worms from the foot is dead? 
I mean, corpses now happen. I mean, the shit that I have seen, I will not forget. We could just run away. Could we? We could make it. Live off in the woods. Catch a wolf cub. Raise it. We do have experience. Mm-hmm. If only. <sighs> you met me six, seven years ago. I would have taken that in a heartbeat. You're lucky I didn't sink my claws into you when I first met you. You were too precious at the time. <clears throat> you took pity on me. No, I just wasn't attracted to you. Not then. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've seen you were me so scrawny back grow then. into a man. You're still growing, but yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Funny how things change, huh? Hmm. I remember that day so clearly. What? The day we met? First day I arrived. First day I saw you. All of it. With that dumb look on your face. Haven't seen it in a very long time. Hadn't seen one of you in a very long time. Hmm. In fact, I barely interacted with people like me at all, if you remember. I was in mm -hmm. awe of you. <laughs> I didn't realize how things were meant to be, otherwise I would have been more scared, but... Hey. You should have been. I was feral. <clears throat> yeah, you were. <clears throat> we live and we grow. This growing thing seems a lot more like receding for me. Everywhere I turn, it's shackle, shackle, enslaved, servitude, ownership. Yeah, or I could fucked. just bareback it. Bareback it. Mm-hmm. Next time I'm just going to fucking run out in the front of all the enemies and rah, just see what the fuck happens. <sighs> Please don't. <laughs> Imagine nothing happens. Yeah, that'd be fucking, fucking awkward as shit. <laughs> they just look at you like, what the <laughs> fuck? I would die laughing, at least. I don't no, want to lose anyone what else. I want it to happen. Neither do I. Especially not by means that I can't control. Yeah. I fucking lost Silver, Yuna, in one fucking moment. Ugh. <sighs> They're still out there somewhere. You'll find them one day. I dread that day. You don't want to find them. What I find will not be Yuna and Silver.
That memory is long gone. I am going to step away and most likely lay my head down for a few minutes. Yeah, take a rest. I'll be around. Lots of information. Later. I'll come find you. I won't be long. It'll be alright, Sarah. We'll figure it out. I hope so. I can't take much more of this. No. Some people at Gabama told me back in the heyday of Nanus there used to be more of them prowling about the town. Than what in the Sam hell are you doing? <coughs> Don't act all innocent. You're up to something. <laughs> 